Hey, what up guys? So I just picked up this 2003 Nissan 350Z project. Yup, another one. So this car needs some love. It was like a one owner vehicle. It's only like 65,000 miles and just sat clean title. These are the fenders that were on there. Right here. So I'm taking them off. I'm going stock. I'm putting this car almost all back to stock. This is the front bumper. It's stock, but they drilled the two holes in there. I'm probably gonna end up replacing that. Here's a 60,000 mile engine bay. I took off the air filter cause I just washed it. It was super dirty. Has pretty much everything. Car's pretty mint interior and stuff wise for the most part here's the back bumper i'm working on getting it off now so i'm getting rid of these i'm getting rid of these wheels they just i mean they disappear they're tucking like three inches in not my style um i'll show you guys the interior everything works here for the most part let's see so here's the interior super duper clean cup holders work manual transmission has no grinds no anything motor is super smooth original floor mats check this out i think this is pretty sweet right here so here is an original floor mat for the back <laughs> there's old nissan stuff from like 2005 it says g35 sedan i just noticed but it might fit i don't know came with the car came with all this stuff so i'm gonna pretty much do a overhaul the whole vehicle i might paint it i might wrap it i'm not sure but my plan kind of with it is to kind of give you guys my goal my vision kind of take you guys through the process as i um am going about it so yeah i'm ripping off everything aftermarket vehicles too low too clean too low miles too clean to be having that kind of aftermarket stuff on it so we're going all oem we're going to make this thing a beauty i'm going to try to possibly restore it back to factory spec but we'll see i don't know my end goal with the vehicle so we'll find out i'm really excited to do this project though on my other z i lost just a lot of excitement so here's this has a no rip it's almost there on the seat the notorious little rip there no check engine light no anything needs a newer steering wheel but I don't, the thing is just 60k miles for an 03 is just awesome to see and awesome what that comes with i mean it's all sanded down i guess the guy's goal was to paint it with his body kit it probably would have been a really clean car it's just i'm gonna i'm gonna save it in my opinion and return the 65,000 mile beauty back to stock so it can live its stock form life and i think it'll make the value go up quite a bit on something like that so i'm super excited to to get this project done and i'm gonna be working on it pretty quickly it's just really exciting for me i don't know where it'll end up going so we'll see but we'll take you guys kind of through the process as it goes all right so i finally got this bumper off it was bondoed over the screws so i had to break that off and it was bondoed to the vehicle which i kind of made a little chisel type thing instead of breaking it off all these screws are everywhere it was just screwed right into the body i don't know i had a nismo bumper fiberglass one before but i never did anything like this this one might still have a little screw in it but these were like screwed in terribly all bonded over you can see back here i just bonded everything to get it to hold 
So all this stuff is almost worthless for me. But I kind of feel bad taking it off. They did do a lot of work to get it to to look good and sit on there. And it's not bad at all, but it's just not what uh, we're doing for this vehicle. And if I go to wrap it or something, this bumper was a huge pain to wrap. So I think we did the right thing. It's pretty good. I got it off getting good progress on here. But... Here we are. I gotta make sure those tabs aren't gonna be a problem because they're bent. But other than that, I am uh, pretty happy with the progress I made on the first day here. I'll see you guys in the next one or in a bit here. What up, I just wanted to show you around the vehicle. So there's like zero misshaping or dents or something at all. I found one in the door here somewhere when I hit it with water it's pretty much it this is smooth everything's really smooth it's it has like a little bit of a primer on it a little bit of surface rust popped up from sitting um but the body's really straight there's a little bit of here i mean just waiting on a rear bumper but everything's super straight just a little bit of surface rust so I'm not sure if we would need to throw a 2k primer on or whatever it's up to you up to you on the the paint experience side of it but a body's super super nice very straight no major issues fenders they're nice. They need a little bit of work, but super minimal, man. I'm thinking it's pretty much ready to shoot. Just basic, basic, basic sanding and whatnot, and we're ready to spray. All right, what up, guys? Uh, here we are, day two. So, so far, I cleaned up the engine bay pretty good. It was pretty dirty. Uh, like I said, got these bumpers. I got these fenders off. The owner was nice enough to actually give me some parts that he had left over. So I got some more goodies. I went out and bought some wheels, which was a mistake because he gave me some. I'll show you those in a second. But he gave me these stock fenders. So these are going on. I don't have to buy any more, which is awesome. There's a stock bumper going on. I'll probably just leave it. I don't like that it has a two ducks and it's a DE, but it's not a big deal. Um, I got that bumper off. It was awful, dude. Dude bonded it everywhere. Was was horrendous. So got that off. But as far as the parts goes, he gave me a full set of these Infinity wheels. I like those quite a bit. He gave me a full set of the original wheels which are pretty nice as well. And then down here, I'll try to scoot this over a little bit. So you can kind of see, but they are the uh, Chrome Infinity wheels, which are pretty nice as well. So now I got three sets of nice wheels and uh, these, which, I'm just not a fan of it at all. So, yeah. So, I mean, so far, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, this one hurts. But I was going to redo this seal. I ended up busting the whole hatch glass because uh, it was stuck a little right there. I tried to wedge a little screwdriver in and yep, shattered the whole glass. So, that is actually a big fail. And, uh, that one hurts, so I gotta go over there, get a new, probably gonna get an entire new hatch, which is not cool. I imagine the labor, swap out the glass and all that stuff, and hopefully I can find one with a good seal over there and just swap them out. But yeah, there's that, and uh, that's pretty much the progress I made. This is, like I said, uh, day two of working on the car, day three of owning the car. So 
we're getting closer i think i'm gonna set it in for paint or i'll end up painting it the original silver color just to keep it keep it nice uh i contemplated wrapping it i got lots of wrap colors over here there's some fenders but yeah i got i got the satin charcoal metallic i really contemplated i got gloss black satin pearl white so they're all still an option until i commit to something but we're gonna find out i got this bumper off and it's gonna be swapped out with a stock one tonight somebody's trading me so there you go that's a update on day two hopefully i could get to work and you guys can see some of the processes going on here tomorrow all right so as you can see i took the whole hatch off i busted out the glass and cleaning and vacuuming it up it's kind of a mess wish i didn't do it that way but no big deal nonetheless uh gotta get this trimming off it'll make for a better complete paint or wrap job whatever i end up deciding to go with so kind of happy i took it off kind of not uh, it allows for on a paint job to get behind the roof here really cleanly which is is cool i'm happy with so yep that's where we're at and we're gonna call it for probably the day i don't have too much stuff i can be doing i gotta wait for some stuff to arrive so see you in the next one